you guys. You know who this is, and if you don't know, if you knew, you might have just clicked on this video by accident. But this is Enrico, and I'm back again on your computer screens, talking about different stuff pertaining to East Asia and using my common sense. A lot is going on in the world, but as a black man, I try to stay positive and keep my wits about myself. So, look at this. There is this town <laughs> i don't even know it's so high up i don't know if it's a town a village a cave or whatever you want to call it but it's located in china they call it the cliff village even though it's one of the most poverty stricken villages in china And it is 800 meters up in the sky. I mean, it might as well be up near the cloud, touching the clouds. And originally, this little town rose to fame because it showed these kids in a video scaling this 800 meter mountain to go to school. The mountain so high up that the little kids had to climb down this wooden ladder frame. Help me out here. I'm grasping for straw. I don't even know what it is. A root to get to school. And get this. It took them like two hours. So people all around the world were saying, that's totally not unsafe. Yet yeah, them little kids... That they get, gotta get to school, and that's totally okay. You know, it's okay if they fall and die and meet death at the bottom. So, come to find out that this is a norm for these little kids. They go to school and they stay there for about two weeks because literally it is hard for them to climb up and down that mountain every single day. The Chinese government. After a while, was like, oh, people talking about this all over the world. <laughs> Let us go ahead and do something about this. Can you know they kind of making China look bad. Child abuse, child services. They having a field day. So they went, spent a couple of mil on a metal ladder for the residents. <laughs> but there have been people now that want to go to this mountain. So they created a hotel. It's become like a tourist spot for people to go and watch the poor people go up and down a mountain I guess I don't know these people on this mountain never need gym memberships because they literally can go outside and say we gonna go up and down this metal pole steps that I don't know what this contraption is supposed to be but they will never be fat. They will never have any type of weight on them. They will continue to be wonderful looking forever. The people grow crops up there. They're loving their life. They have nothing really up there. There's no supermarket. No type of shopping mall. Or even internet until more recently. But... The younger generation and the people that have been going to the mountain have been opening up this village to the world and to electronics. So now, there are people that live stream their lives in this little town. There are people that are learning how to use the internet to sell their crops. And so they're bringing in money and this is a wonderful thing. However, there are people that are still skeptical. They're like, well, why are they still living on this high as I don't know what mountain? And the people were like, this is our home. We like living here because it's what we're used to. We're okay with going up and down this mountain. Even though it's still dangerous. <laughs> Even though they have to put strict rules in place on how they go up and down this mountain. And children under the age of 16 are not allowed to go down this ladder by themselves. When families go up and down this thing... <laughs> They have the men that have to carry the younger children. And people have to go 
up and down it because there's not always resources for them in their village. So they have to go down for the doctors, they have to go down sometimes for extra food and other resources. I honestly look at this village and I'm like, black people, we gonna have a village like this on a large cliff. We're gonna be looking like Plymouth Rock from Lion King. And we will call it Wakanda Village. Black people need their own mountain village. We getting all shot up and killed up constantly. Then maybe we'll be safe and things will be different. I don't know if I would ever visit this place. I probably would. I'm not a heights person, but I love roller coasters. I love the rush. However, it just, it, it don't look safe. And not to mention the one before, the newer version, the one we have now that didn't have no rail in or nothing. You just trip and fall over the side. I am sad to announce that there have been people that have died on this thing that have fallen to their death. And the people in the village, they go on about their lives. <laughs> You all are real gangsters. Y'all really about it. They were saying that <laughs> China had this museum talking about how black people were compared to monkeys. But they climbing up roots and stuff to get to the mountain. So what we, we all some type of like King Kongs, right? There has been apartments built for some of the people who do not want to go up and down this ladder. There are women that are pregnant that have to go down literally <laughs> a week before their due date. And the families have decided, you know what? We just gonna move into this nice apartment provided by the government. There are some people that still like, you know, I'm not gonna move. There are elderly people up there that have been up there all their lives that have never left the mountain. Well, of course they haven't. They probably go and try to go down a little bit of them flights and probably break a hip. I, I don't know who's going to China right now, but you know, you can definitely check it out if, if you are in China and that's your thing. They have temples too that are like trapped in the sides of mountains that have been used with the architecture of the mountain. You know, there's, there's a lot of weird stuff in this world that's very interesting. And you can go see if you're willing to risk your life or you're daring like that. Good stuff. <laughs> so you guys, this is a lot to think about. Follow my social media, mostly my Instagram. I also have a blog on East Asian pop culture. The link is always in the description box below. And remember... Be real, stay real, live in the real, and I will always be back. Love you guys.